Yeah, I went to Access All Aerials at Silhane yesterday and I found it really good. Will you want to ask me about it, I believe? Yeah, I think there's t- there's two areas. The first is w- what what have they got there? Because it, it it's like a studio equipment for training, as, I, as I've understood it. Okay, yeah, it is. That's right. Uh, they've got a much better mix. Of, well, um, Phonic have a, an older mixer, but it's a desk whereas there's just a mixer so you can put two tracks together yeah three really and because you can do two cd players and one iphone not that i knew that at all (laughs) um and 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 presumably it's quite easy to get into it is it's rather complicated because you go through the main area, then you go right through the corridor, then you go through a little car park and then you're there. But it's a very good place. It has ranks at the back, doesn't it? Yeah, it so, does. Yeah, so you can get from the main road at the back. And there's, there's an event there next Friday night. It's the... Um, basically, it's a club night and it's all organised by Carl and Justin Holmes and I think it's a really good event. In fact, I'm going. All right. Yeah. So... Last last time I was there, it seemed to me there's a, there's um I forget the right name, but the red red studio or something. There's a big building. A red room. The red room, and that has got recording equipment in it. Yeah, it's, it's like that, a, like a, a sound studio. Yeah, but, but, it's, but we it's, weren't in there. We had a portable mixer, um, and we were in the IT room. What they do is. They produce their radio show and then listen back to it all so they can see what's happening and where to make changes and things. And I think it's a really good and encompassing environment. And I felt at home. So I didn't like the fact I had to get up at 20 past six yesterday morning. Yeah, to get there? Well, no. Um, because Carl picked me up at eight o'clock. Yeah. It took me a little time to get going. So I thought, oh, I don't really want Carl to come and I'm not ready. No. And as it was... I was just coming into the kitchen to pull up my blind to sound ready and my doorbell rang and it was <laughs> wow. cold. So I That's thought... That's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm not getting up at 20 past six for a while. No. Chris, slight, slightly off, off topic, but... The, the performance spaces are in the main building, some of them, the larger ones. Yeah. And can they still record sound there pretty well and, and sort of take it back to the studio space? As far as I know, yes, because the mixer bo- mixer's portable, uh, so they it can carry in. There's a big speaker and... The mic, I was really impressed with the microphone because it was a wireless microphone. All oh, right. And it was really good, I thought. So, how much of this radio gets broadcast? Um, at the moment, I think 0%. But I think that's being addressed. So do, does some of it go on, on, on the internet in different yes, ways? Yes, it can all be found on the internet, I 
thing. Well, we'll, we'll try and put some links on our Facebook page, I think. Try and, try and make some connections there. Yeah, I'd connect to the Access All Aerial website. So Access All Aerials is on Facebook, is that right? They've got a, a uh, page Yeah, there. they do have a Facebook page. And now all the information about the project would be on there, so... Do you we, think we could sort of borrow some samples if we rebroadcast it? Do you think they'd mind? I don't know. I'll have to ask. OK. Well, I think that's worth checking out. Yeah. Because we've got a lot of time to fill. <laughs> and it's always good to have a backup. Well, yeah. <laughs> But you're well. You've only got half an hour. I've today. got yeah. My half an hour is very precious, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking of your hour and a half. Well, yeah. your half an hour might be length the next week. Oh yeah, that would be that would work because I'm away next week. So that, that would that would so that, that would work a, that would work well. Okay. Um. Well. There might be a wild show, but I don't get back to Exeter till very early on Thursday morning, so can't imagine I'd be able to get in for 10 o'clock. No, don't, 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 don't worry. We'll, we'll work this out later, but I think in, pr- in principle, we'd like, let, to, we'd like to borrow a sample or two. Yeah. What? So that sounds like a good idea. Well, yes, I'll have to talk to my friend Carl Munson, who gave me a lift back last night. I didn't have to catch the train at all yesterday, yeah. I, which is good. That is very good. Yeah. And just out of interest, Chris, I know I'm sometimes um, described as ob- obsessive about this, but I do think <laughs> how how to get to Sealhane, especially from Exeter, is well worth discussing. I thought you had a map. Now. I have got a map. I, I think, have got a map. I think what we do, we take you down to the airport. Yes. and get a private helicopter and they can take you there and land on the lawn. Yes? <laughs> so yeah, there is, yes. there is be... enough lawn there. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, that would be that would be a solution and for me. And there's a few fields at the back so you've got no problem with landing. So. JT, look, yeah. you, you're, you're a, a, a kind and patient person. <laughs> Just for someone in Exeter yep. who wanted to go to Seal Hay, Yes for one of the musical events or yep. just to have a look anyway or, right. or to check out the tea rooms right. or look at the, the right. many sculpt, sculpture items right. they've got around the grounds yep. um, do you think they've got to go uh, more or less into Newton Abbott and then out again as if they're going to, to, to Plymouth and then they'll find an easy way to get there or is there another way? Well if you come off the A38 right now and look at the big yellow signs with mm. black writing on it that says mm. Um, somewhere art at so hey really so I don't know where that goes but that's well, it's got big big signs it's got, it's got one big sign from the AA the AA the AA, the AA are put up at Seal Hay yes well if the AA are on the job they won't they won't <laughs> stop there will they no they'll they're probably land up in Torquay <laughs> well <laughs> no the AA are, they're, they're quite they're quite well sussed out organisation and they're, they're handling the signs. Yes, I don't know where they go to, because I only went off to Trago Mills, well, Trago Mills gets petrol, so I don't know, I didn't go right down that way. No, but that sounds very good. Mm. That sounds very good. So somebody from Exeter could, could look out for the AA signs, <laughs> yes. mark Summer Art at Seal Hay, yeah, right. yeah, and then right. they'll find a reliable route, won't they? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> let's, let's see if they find themselves up in Torquay, but I'm No, 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 they won't. No, the AA will get it right. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, if you, if, you, if you do get completely stuck, you can go all the way into Newton Abbott and then head towards Ashburton, and then there yes, are flags you, and, and very clear signs. Yeah, well, that probably is the easiest, really. If you don't don't know the little side routes through, which is very easy to do. So the side routes, if you if you sort of came back to Exeter via the side routes, you you could be a bit more adventurous on the way back if it was your first time going well, to Seal Hay. Just come out of the building and turn left, and then turn right, the first right, and mm. right again, and we're down to the main road again. So it's quite simple. <laughs> 
I think once people got used to it. Yes. But maybe going following the AA routes or there's no signposts. That's the only thing going the way I've just described. So that's no. the, that's the difficult thing. I wish they put do would put some signs up. It, it would be a good thing, a good wouldn't thing. it? So we need to get on to Mr. Munson. He can go down and put some up. Really. Well, he will send you a map <laughs> if you if you if you say to him. What happens if I can't read well, a map? Well, there is a map on their website. If you find the yes. Steelhaven website, you will yeah. eventually find the map. Yes, yeah, he did point this out to me. <laughs> as well as emailing it to me. <laughs> but I still go on about it because um, I don't think people in Exeter know how to get there. Will you just want lots of maps? <laughs> I do you? like maps, yes. OK. Well, I think as a special request, here is something for Carl. And um, when... Oh, I'll drop my phone. Oh, that's, uh, sorry, uh, it's coming, give it a promise, uh, where's it gone? Oh, here it is. (laughs) 